And there we are. We're back. You're here with me, Ruben Lenten and Adriana Bono. And we are jumping into the men's final, the men pro division here at the full power Tarifa with four heavy hitters taking it to the stage. Giel Vlucht, Andrea Principe, Lorenzo Cassati and Jeremy Berlando. This is going to be a double show off, a double mega loop show off. Yeah, I guess so too. Um, we've seen them basically all focusing on double loops the, during the whole com competition today. And it's a hell of a lineup here with the trap. The guys are so used to the spots. But of course, Gil as well, local rider, knows the spots so well. So yeah, we have probably still around 40 to 45 knots. I think the wind is pretty stable, pretty sweet. The um, landings looked more controlled, let's say. So the choppiness of the, of the ocean got a bit more flattened out. Um, but these guys can ride it all. Uh, the difficult conditions are not a big challenge for them. So I'm we curious. got the, we got Gio Vleug riding on the on the core kite, of course, on the new three strut design on the pace it's called. We got Andrea Principe riding his uh, duotone Evo D Lab. Lorenzo Castati is of course on his Harlem Force, and then we got uh, Jeremy Burlando riding for Slingshot on the coat. And uh, these guys are ha have been jumping some of the highest today, and that's why they are in the final. They absolutely deserve to be there. And I cannot wait uh, for the show to unfold. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the, I would say the three Italians, but you see also the Spanish flags, of course, because Lorenzo and Jeremy are living in uh, Tenerife. Um, they will be on a six meter. I'm pretty sure about that. And Gil on a seven meter. He's also quite a big guy. And he has no problem to double loop his seven meter core kites. So uh, there's the red flag still up and the yellow flag is uh, about to be risen. And uh, that means one minute until the start of the epic final. And uh, yeah, yes. who do you put your money on? I mean, with this lineup, it's so hard. Uh, I see these guys, they are so, so well trained. They know each other super good. Um, it's just one of the guys need to have a better day than the other. And I'm also pretty curious who's going to put the kite the lowest because we know from all of them um, they try to do a lot of combos between these double loops and of course trying to wait a bit more in between the two loops to, to have it a so bit easier. So one, two and three. Let's go. Um, I would say Andrea, Jeremy is going really good. I think he might be second. Uh, Lorenzo third, Gil fourth. So Andrea in first, you say? Yeah, I think he will. Okay. He might go. And mental. there we go. We have the green flag for the final. Stay tuned, people, because now it's happening. The time is now. Oh, and he immediately has a kicker. This is a oh. really advantage, a big advantage, a huge double contra. Yeah, with an added rotation. With added front board rolls off. and board offs. Amazing. Opening move by Andrea Principe. Let's see uh, how he scores. But he had the kicker there. And here, oh, that's it. Lorenzo Cassati coming with a reply there with a double mega loop. Uh, double back roll. But getting so leveled with his kite. And, yeah, uh, just this amazing. kite angle was way lower. And Gil here back also roll. with a double mega loop, laid back roll, and sticking it. This, <laughs> this is why these guys are in the final. They're absolutely throwing down hardcore moves straight out of the gate. So this is an exciting 12 minutes that we got on our hands here. Difficult to say um, if Andrea or Lorenzo, which one went the highest. We had two different camera angles here. I so mean, for us Andrea difficult. went higher, but I think Lorenzo so. went sicker, like more extreme. That's so why. It's That's up to why. the judges. I'm just a commentator and Let's see now. not Let's a judge. See now. So yeah, yeah. The judges like the kite angle. It's clear because yep. there we go. That's Lorenzo it. has a 7.8. I think that's fair enough, though. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, the double contra or a double mega loop, I think the double mega loop is way more extreme as the angle is just more critical. And, uh, yeah, Lorenzo performed it really, really well. And like you said, Andrea had a great advantage with taking off from the kicker and here trying to do that again, but the kicker just closed on him. Here he's going for a double kite loop. 
uh, the double front roll board off. So uh, doobie, doobie booby, doobie booby loop. Board off. Board off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the board off. Oh, but Lorenzo is going high. Oh, with a board spin. Massive. Board off. Double loop. With, with a front a roll. Uh, incredible. Controlled uh, landing. Lore claiming it. Lorenzo's uh, score got adjusted to an eight as well. Whoa. For the double and Andrea scoring uh, 7.37. Phil going massive as well. It's hard, hard. It must be hard to score these these tricks. We got some really nice kite angles though from especially Lorenzo and Phil. Yeah, this was not quite this what Jeremy uh, Jeremy wanted. If you look at the the height and the kite angle that uh, Lorenzo is putting in there, that's absolutely insane. I think Lorenzo's score changed because he did the same trick. Uh, and he ah no 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 oh he scored a That's nine true. for that holy shit oh Lorenzo is it's so good for the moment holy moly Yannick is also oh. loving it Gotting a little go. kicker again but waiting with that loop oh S loop with a board off double board off he does yeah. a double board, double off. board off one with his left hand and one with his right hand yeah that's crazy super technical. He had the height, but again, not the not the really critical kite angle. No, but of course, in this kind of maneuver, it's impossible. I would say almost. No, it is possible <laughs> to get the kites <laughs> oh, looping so look fast. We saw the answer there from uh, Jeremy Berlando with a boogie double loop board off. So one forward rotation whilst looping the kite twice and doing a board off with his front hand. Let's see, Gil, his answer once Gil more on the answer board. Answer with an S loop. Oh. Oh, he didn't stick it. it. Fortunately, that's a attempt that won't count. So 12 minutes, seven attempts per rider. The two highest scoring tricks count. And right now it's uh, Lorenzo Cassati being on top, scoring a nine and an eight already. And here on his other trick attempt, doing a insane double back roll, board off, yeah. double mega loop. Holy shit. Fully in control, but unfortunately the landing, he missed that one. What is... Uh, Andrea switching kites. That's interesting. What is Andrea doing? Oh, he's going to go for the critical kite angle. I think he's going to go bigger. I hope. He's not, not smaller. Going, I hope he's not going for the five, personally. Is he going smaller? Uh, uh, it looks like a bigger one. No, uh, yeah. I think it's a bigger one. I think one. that's a good strategy. He wants the height. Yeah. He's uh, squeezed the most out of his doubles. So now he's going to go... Uh, ma yeah, maybe he still does the double on the seven. Or even on the eight, he does the double. Eh? So, so why let's would see. you write the six then? <laughs> 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 okay, here's Gil Vleur going with a back roll up into the air. Oh. A nice double back roll, double kite loop. Absolutely <laughs> sick. <laughs> oh, what a final we've got on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are enjoying this. Nice rotation during the boat loops. So, everyone does it a little bit different. Jeremy get catching some nice height there. Jeremy, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, not getting it together there. He jumped up with a back roll, did one kite loop, and just uh, missed uh, yeah, his second loop. So, unfortunately, not uh, bettering his score there. Andrea's back on the water. Let's see what he's doing. But first, we have Lorenzo. Lorenzo again. Six meter. On his fourth trick attempt, I think. Back roll, kite loop, oh. another back roll. A double back roll, kite loop again. Yeah. Double back roll, double kite loop, sorry. Incredible, but where was the board of Lorenzo? Come on. Yeah, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Don't hold back, it's the final. And here Andrea goes, takes to the skies. One, two. I don't know. Oh, he wanted to go for the triple, maybe? It's not an eight. No, it's a... It's, did he go? Yeah. He just changed kites. Maybe he has the five. Yeah, I think so. He's going to go for the snake loop and hope it... Hope it will end up in his favor, but looking at the judges, I don't think that's going to work out in this contest. Lorenzo scores are really, really good. A nine and an eight, very strong. Jeremy has an eight point seven. If he gets so we a are better score, jumping to the right side, here. he does the double oh, contra loop. Insane. Is he controlled? Oh, yeah. He's riding it out. Very, That's very nice, nicely ball. styled out by uh, yeah Jeremy Berlando there, J Bo, as Lewis likes to call him. Really nice style. If he improves his score there. Here comes uh, Lorenzo it's again, good. not finding it, so better to uh, save your trick attempt and uh, tag back and forth for another attempt. Lorenzo is not really jumping to the right. 
mostly to the to the left. Yeah, I see him a lot to the. I see him more to the left, mm -hmm. but for sure he he likes to do it. Uh, the contrast, uh, he he doesn't to, to the right. Oh yeah. But now he goes with a again a double back row. Yeah, there it is. The board off. Oh, he wanted the double in there, but he oh, couldn't make on it. Fire, huh? It's what a move. But He's it was just fire. a single loop. Double back row board off single loop. No, it was double. Oh, so sorry. There we go. Double. He just added the board of what I was asking for, and then a late <laughs> rotation. Oh, triple from Andrea. Triple contra. But he crashed. Contra? Let's see. No. It. No. That's loop. That's a snake loop, no? A uh, snake loop, I mean. Uh, he tried a snake loop indeed, but he didn't stick it. Here, there goes Here uh, Andrea, go. one, two, and then goes into the S loop. But uh, even board off, even board Oof, off. Snake loop board off. A lot of things are happening. That's Sometimes so technical, it's difficult to follow here. That's too much. <laughs> okay, Gil. Going for the second. Wow, look who uh, overtook uh, the win there. Wow. Getting above his kite there on the second loop. But unfortunately, not adding any rotations or board off, so yeah. that not going to really uh, score for him. But look who is in first place now, Jeremy Berlando. That's what I thought with that massive double contra. Yeah, that was board off and big. But I don't know, was it better than the the mega the double mega loop from Lorenzo? You have a timer. Yeah, we are. Uh, I think we have about four minutes left. Four and a half minutes left, or yeah, four uh, minutes didn't left. Feel it there. But I think uh, the riders are also uh, getting closer to their trick attempt. Only seven trick attempts per rider, so uh, I think Lorenzo is already onto his sixth, or maybe seventh. Yeah. So this is his last chance he to. Uh, I think he crashed one. This is his last chance to uh, up his score. So he needs to do better than an 8.03. And uh, he needs to uh, oof. he needs to score a 9, basically, to overtake uh, Jeremy. Let's see here. So then you... Yeah. What is he going to choose? There we go. Uh, not massive enough. If you compare it with his previous trick. Oh, tricks. massive cartwheel crash. Doobie booby board off. So double front rotation with the board off and two mega loops. That was Lorenzo Casati's uh, last attempt, I believe. So unfortunately not overtaking Jeremy Berlando for him. And uh, yeah, he's going to be upset about that. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, but Lorenzo is on fire as well. And let's see Andrea. Andrea onto his last trick he's attempt. going to try to do some triples again no we're not happening fortunately mini s loop Oof. so right now we got Gil in fourth place we got andrea in third place and uh, lorenzo cassati in second and we have uh, lorenzo still with a trick attempt and Gil, i wonder what where he is Whoppa. front rotation board oh, off nice missing that one it was a doobie booby board off so there's uh, the double rotation Here's with two Hill. kite loops and a board off. Oh, his second score came on the boards, putting him in third at the moment. What? Oh, and this is massive. Whoa, oh, oh, massive um, S loop massive. by Giel Vlug. That was absolutely bonkers. Nice one, Giel, yeah. and sticking it clean. I think that will secure him from a third third place, maybe above uh, Andrea Principi, yeah. who is going a little bit too technical. Yeah, I think with the Here, five meter, he's not going to make it. Two, Three, uh, oh, 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 super hard landing there for Andrea. Yeah, I hope he did with his board on time. What was Andrea doing? He went up, he did one, he did an S loop, and another. No, he did. That is the snake loop. Or, yeah, that is the snake loop. So, one less than a minute left, but I think uh, the riders already have their uh, trick attempt. Oh, that's a crash for, uh, for Lorenzo Cassati. I mean, is there even a trick attempt in the final? There shouldn't be a limit on how many tricks you can do. You should just go absolutely wild in the final, right? So maybe they are still coming in. But uh, Jeremy Berlando can't believe his luck. What a performance. And uh, looks like he's going to take home the win. A little kicker there for Gil. Another S-loop. S-loop. Well, you wanted to add a board off there, I think. Oh, but crashing it. Uh, butt check, actually. 
But did the scores uh, did the score come in already for the uh, last S loop? I don't think so. No, that should be uh, way up there. No, indeed, still needs to come up. So we're still waiting for the final scores to come in as this hand as this heat comes to an end. I think indeed Lorenzo finishes trick attempts, which are seven maximum. Dooby booby board off. He's throwing some more things, and he's happy about that, but. I don't think they're going to get scored for it. Maybe Giel also finishes trick attempts, and that's why the S-loop is not showing up. Ah, uh, it's done. This is the end of the heat, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are uh, going to wait for uh, for the prize given, of course, uh, when the final scores come in. Um, yeah, what, a, what an insane final here at the full power. Tarifa 2024 edition, where we saw... Uh, yeah. What's up? There we are. So thank you so much for watching, for joining.